Hello again guys, Jonathan Weiss here for Drone Rush. We're excited to sit down with Drone Code. Drone Code is an open source system. Let's let Ramon explain it all. My name is Ramon Roche. I'm the program manager for the Drone Code project, which is hosted under the Linux Foundation. The Drone Code project is the vendor neutral house for open source technology. Here at Radio Drone today with our member companies to demonstrate some of those technologies. So the PX4 Autopilot is what powers one, some of the greatest drones in the industry. Uh, today we're partnering with UB5. We have a great program, it's called the Drone Code Passport. Um, and they brought to the, to the show the Drone Code Research, which is a research and development platform that's running PX4 with a companion computer so that you can actually run your development here. So if you're thinking of doing a prototyping in a drone, you can, it's a great first drone to get for development. And they also have a new uh, program soon, which is the Yuri uh, STEM platform. So it's going to be this little guy are here running PX4 for a STEM educational program. We got Air Lango right there. They have the, recently launched the Kickstarter for the Mystic drone. So it's an uh, AI ambition obstacle avoidance powered drone powered by PX4. They got NXP, the leader in the automotive industry. So they make all the sensors for all your fancy new cars. They got Altherian, which is the red hat of drones. So what that means is they are basically contributing to the open source ecosystem, PX4, QRAN control, and it's the analogy is like they contribute back to open source, but they they make sure that you get supported and commercial industry ready, and they get you by your hand into all the ecosystem, make sure that you're continuously supported and that you don't have any issues with your open source technology, so now adapting them into your product. And we have AirMap, which recently announced their SDK, their AirMap SDK, which is a UTM SDK, and it will allow you to uh, have UTM access into their services via their SDK, and they announcing today, or yesterday, that the QRAN control software stack is now using their UTM services inside QRAN control. So you can download that and use your UTM services. I would say the best way to get involved would be to go to dronecode.org, read through our documentation. We have a rundown of our stack, all of our members, and every technology that we do. You can also go to GitHub slash dronecode, and you'll get access to our SDKs, or uh, autopilot and everything else. All right, thanks a lot, Jonathan, and thank you. Um, thank you. <laughs> thanks again for joining us. Please stay tuned for plenty more from Interdrone 2018. Please give us that thumbs up if you like what you see here, and consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon. Make sure you see what comes next. Thanks again, all. Fly safe.